We have Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Hey crafters, welcome to Dark Future. These are a new genre tile for tilescapes. I'm calling them Dark Future because they'd be great for like derelict spaceships or old post-apocalyptic bases or that kind of thing. So I'm going to do the same kind of format I did with the modern zombie tiles. I'm going to show you how to make the tiles. I'm going to show them at the table with all the setup. And then I'm going to show, I have a little bit at the end where extra bonus crafts and show you stuff I used on the tile. So people seem to like that for the zombie tile. So I'm going to do that for this uh, Dark Futures tile too. So let's hit, the, let's hit the table and I'll show you how to make those Dark Futures Tilescape tiles. Here's our mystery material. It's this craft foam. And what I got was I got the five millimeter thick because this perfectly matches our tilescape tiles, right? And uh, this is great size. It's 12 by 18. So I can get uh, six uh, full size tiles out of this. I'll remove the sticker there so I can work with it. Now, I couldn't find these at the store. I actually had to buy these online, but they were fairly cheap. Now, I measured out my tiles on here, my six by six, and I can just easily cut these out with scissors, right? So just perfectly easy. Uh, no muss, no fuss. And uh, once I cut these out, they'll be ready for the stamping method like we do with our other tilescapes. For this project, you're going to need cross-stitch mesh. And it's very inexpensive. You can pick it up at just about any craft store. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut it in a 3-inch square. Okay. And this will be the great the deck grading on our tiles. So just super easy. Now that this is a black uh, colored uh, mesh I have, it doesn't matter what color it is. So I'm going to paint uh, gunmetal on here with a brush. Make sure you spread it out nice and even. And then I'll just push it onto the tile just like a stamp. And now here I've done uh, the other uh, three and I'll finish it up with the fourth one. So very cool. Nice, a really nice effect there. So now I want to do a little bit of uh, aging on this. So I'm going to use my burnt umber on a sponge and I'll give kind of a nice aging uh, rusty effect. So don't hit it too much, just a little bit. There we go, very cool. I really like the mesh effect, but I wanted to do something else, a little, little something else to the tile. So what I did was I took a piece of foam core, my dollar store foam core, measured out two quarter of an inch lines and then measured uh, an inch uh, and then a half an inch into the top there through the center you can see that center line and then just cut it out with my exacto knife and this will be a perfect stamp for the edge of the tile so we got our stamp all ready to go we're going to paint on it with our uh, gun metal and just cover it up uh, nice and even there and once we get that painted on we're going to do a few streaks of silver on there and that'll give a nice uh, variation of color on that edge so we'll just keep going around fill up the whole edge and there we go. I think it really is, gives a nice effect. Very cool. Now I'll add some uh, burnt sienna for like rust and uh, corrosion. Very cool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out the edge with acrylic black and just a very thin brush. And this will really make the edge pop uh, because sometimes when you stamp it can get a little messy. And this just cleans that up and really gives it a nice crisp edge. And really makes it also I think really makes the edge pop out. So there we go. Really, really cool. All right, sweet. There we go. It's ready. for Now, these are ready for the table. They're all dry. So what we'll do is we'll go to the table. I'll put some miniatures and other uh, stuff on here, and I'll show you what it looks like. So really cool. And these are great, uh, perfect for tilescapes. The first item here are some uh, cake toppers that I use. I just sprayed them with a uh, beaten metal spray paint and then just hit it with a little bit of black for age. The crates and the barrels are just some old models I had. 
the computer console here and the chair are uh, the computer console is uh, from a paper cutout that I got offline. The chair is just some wood pieces with a washer on the bottom. So that made a really nice chair there. Now the uh, view screen here is a paper, uh, computer console uh, with what I did was I used a name badge holder, a plastic name badge holder, cut out a uh, color uh, copy of something I got offline and then just stuck it in there. So it looks like a nice kind of floating uh, view screen. And here you can see the back, how I attached that. I just used a piece of uh, uh, sharp wood and uh, just attach it to the back of the, uh, the console there. Now for the kind of uh, clone vat or power source or whatever you want to have it, it's just really simply, uh, really simple. I just used a uh, old plastic piece that I had. That's why you want to save your old plastic pieces. Uh, this is a pizza topper <laughs> that I just put on top. And then I had this flashing party light that I could put in there that kind of changes colors. So very cool. And uh, here you can see a look, you can kind of see the look at the different colors it changes uh, through its cycle. So very cool. And last but not least here, I have my sliding metal doors, which I did in uh, DM's Craft number 97. So check that episode out to see how I made those. Hello there, friend. Make sure to give your DM Scotty a like if you do like the video. Also, check out the Facebook group and forum. They are lots of nice people there. Give your DM Scotty a dollar to buy a coffee so he can keep making videos at a hyper speed. Also, if you like to the Scotty, then join the Patreon and you get Crafters Lair. It has extra content for you and you can be happy for the rest of your life watching Crafters Lair and have fun. Yeah, I told Scotty to put you in the case with me, Hilga, because uh, you are so fine, yeah. Oh, Roderick, you say the most wonderful things. That's right, Scotty, close the case, close the case.